counter ticking up. I'm going to assume that means we are live. Welcome back, everybody, to the Storytime Network channel. Uh, I am your resident exhausted Brit Mill. Uh, my my left bottom eyelid has been twitching the last couple few days, and I've been informed it is That's because of, I've been informed it's because of tiredness, which doesn't make sense. I explained because I've been tired since 2011. Uh, but uh, regular viewers will know that I'm joined today by Jack. And Hello there. Who I assume is also exhausted. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so instead of, instead of Save, unfortunately, again, wasn't available. But it gave me an opportunity to do something that I was uh, hoping to do once I realized. Because... Um, Quick plug, because I actually quite like them for this. Anyone with a premium Crunchyroll account can now get uh, three months free of uh, Game Pass for PC if they don't already have Game Pass. I had I so feature, not gonna lie. Yeah, so I now have you know three months of uh, free Game Pass. Psychonauts Two comes out in like a few days, I think. A little while this month certainly uh and i quite enjoyed the game so hey why the fuck not uh disclaimer i have played this game before i have platinumed it that doesn't mean i'm good at it that just means i persevere um though i have also been playing it on my ps4 for the last couple of days uh i think i got about halfway through but uh Again, that doesn't. That still doesn't mean I'm good at this game. <laughs> Do you have any experience with Psychonauts, Jack? Nope. Cool. So you'll be seeing all of this for the first time. Um, we are starting the stream here because it goes right into the opening cutscene, uh, and I don't know how to pause it. Uh, quick warning: it may also be quite loud. I have tried to turn down the volume for it uh, via volume mixer. Um, in fact, I may actually just... Not that. Why did I open that? Very quickly open this. Get this over to the other screen. Have that ready. Uh, but let's get started. Yes. Do that. Ah, double fine. You crazy, the crazy human bastards. Mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber, five and a half ounces of cranial fluid, 1500 grams of complex neural matter, mm. a three pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is it is the ultimate battlefield and the ultimate weapon. The wars oh, nice. of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damn The ultimate weapon and all that jazz, all mm -hmm. that monster. <clears throat> From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead. And this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you. Roll credits. Will die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psycho doc, then you might as well be dead. <laughs> they told me this was a <laughs> summer camp. You see him have such a way with children. Yeah. Ah, Dogen. Don't worry about old coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years. For and what? trust me, nothing ever happens. No? Yeah, I didn't hear what you said. Right. 
you don't got nothing to Can you turn on subtitles for this? Uh, yes, but as I said, this is the opening cutscene. So, I have to oh wait until gameplay starts, and then I will do it. Oh boy. I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous mm. old legend. Appreciated. I don't yeah. want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests, Superstar Psychonaut Sasha Nine and Mia Modello. Whoa! Light Monster! Ah, oh, oh, good old pet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's resisting. Quick, bring it over here. I believe you mentioned this before, but this course is preparing in other shit because volume doesn't come through half the time. Yeah, that also doesn't help. I'll find out. Get! Get! In! My name starts with a D. Is Rasputin. But everybody calls me Raz. <laughs> what was that about Rasputin? Armored like a tank. Uh, Sorry, but I'm everyone late. calls him Raz. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent mm. Oleander. Agents Nine, Vodello, please continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? <laughs> Listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it hey. going? Listen. I like your hey, hat. listen. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling. But to soar across the astral plane, to wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift, but the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you, and your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk. Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. <coughs> Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something. To make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen. But they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and <laughs> then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, once kinda. <laughs> but now I wear this special hat. Want to try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I've got big plans for that mind. Okay. Black bunk. Oh, I'm actually going to type this. Uh... 
Uh, it's a save file, huh? <clears throat> yep. Alright, settle down in here! I did not realize he had hair on his cap. I want to see each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot! I'm the early bird, and you're the worms. Got it? Now, lights out! Good old drill sergeant talk. Yep. Good old coach Oleander. I'm good old this okay, guy. I still have... exam before we start. Not gonna lie, I still haven't Look seen a way, drill sergeant that has ever talked uh, the one from Full Metal Jack wow, in terms of how that? insane oh, they are. Yeah. Marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole way. Always how uh, iconic. Uh. Hmm. Now look up for me if you will. Hmm. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. If you find enough of these side cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have to buy a side core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep ranking up, and before you know it, you'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. And then when do I become a psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Hey, where'd he go? <laughs> that guy looks so familiar. Okay, I should be able to turn subtitles on from this point <clears throat> onwards, I think. Hey, Raz! Hurry up! You don't want to be late help. for basic braining! Woohoo! Basic braining is the best class ever! Woohoo! Okay, there we go. Uh, options. options, definitely. Probably graphics, I want to say. I think probably sound. sound. Okay. Yeah, probably. Quick. I'm trying, it's not working. <laughs> I'm clicking and I'm pressing A. That's not good. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Oh boy. Uh, this has gone poorly already. Why is this not working? I do not know. If I did, we wouldn't be in this situation. I know. The options menu has just stopped working. <laughs> That's not a good. God damn it! It's not even letting me go away from it. Yeah, that's definitely not a good sign. <clears throat> okay, reset. I'm gonna have to all F four this because I literally can't get out of this. Jesus. Let's try again. Yes. Okay, we've actually been sent to the menu this time. That's a good start. Oh. That is a good sign. I do also quite like the menu they use. Which is running around a brain. It's a new game. Pinky and the brain. Continue. Pinky the and the brain. Does it have a options menu? No, nope, that is the title. No. It is... I don't know about you, but I'm imagining the darker cube poo music. <laughs> because I can't hear the actual music. Yeah. Okay. Select bunk. Load. Hey, Raz! Good Hurry thing it up. saves automatically, you right? Yeah. Let's try again. Go through these first. All right, let's see if this works properly this time. Yes, haha. -ha. Okay. Subtitles on. Oh, thank yep. you, God. I was so scared again. Oh, 
Oh, and now a different song stuck in my head. That's nice. Somebody once told me. Nope. Right. No? No, it was before you uh, opened the door. Now All Star is stuck in my head. Thank you for that. You're welcome. To be fair, though, that's a banger song, so I'm not complaining too much. Really hard to go wrong with All Star. I'm telling you yeah. for the last time, no. I would never do that. I know, before that, it was uh, one of the anime OPs from the oh, current summer season. I ah. Was... Squirrel trouble? There are liars I'll give you three guesses as to which one. Tell you, it's a lie. I'll take your word for it. You going to class? I genuinely yeah. don't know. I'll meet you up there. As soon as I get these guys to shut up. Huh, interesting. I have a guess. Shut up! No. I am not. You going to class? Yeah. Fair enough. Which one was it? Eat a ten. Ah. Because I just watched that earlier today, and that OP is an actual legit banger. It is a banger. Yeah, Dogen killed those squirrels. Fucking hell. They were talking shit about him. What's he to do? I mean, fair, I guess. And by Don't talk what? shit if you can't Did get you hit and all that. Mean the best? The Whispering Rockers. Oh, uh, what? That's my band name idea. Why aren't you guys in Coach Oleander's class? Are you kidding? A kid got killed in that class last year. I heard it was a bunch oh, of damn. kids, Phoebe. Well, I heard it was a bunch of blind kids, and the coach threw them off a cliff. Yeah, because they were late for class. You'd better hurry, kid. Sounds a bit now, impressive. Now, where are we, Quinn? No, I meant worse, as in I can't even believe we're friends, it's so bad. You, new boy, seen bear lurking in woods? Nope. Positive. Why does the guy with the big hat bear. have a Russian accent? Nope. In Russia, bears much smaller. Not sure. Also more hair, less lurking. Is it because Always of his big furry hat? Whistle. This one, eh. hide and run. I'll let you know if I see anything. Cannot lurk forever, bear. I mean, his name is Mikhail. Hmm. No, comrade, when you... Russian does not wear furry hats. Furry hat wears Russian. I love the old Soviet reversal jokes. Yeah. God, I remember hearing those all the time back in school. Mostly high school. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. I think it was early high school for me. Gonna make it? No, not gonna make it. To that trampoline. Ah, fuck it. Go to basic braining now. Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, Russian reversal jokes were a big thing back in the early and mid 2010s. Yeah. Fairly sure I post okay. posted at least a few of them to fucking like fucking uh, hey, you going, Facebook. Shh, I snuck out. Would not be surprised. I almost never use Facebook. People. Listen, well, that's just because Facebook kind of sucks. At the start of class, he pulls you into his mind, and then there's nothing you can do about it. But once you're in, you can use these smelling salts to sneak out. Take mine. I don't need Ooh, them. Ooh, smelling I'm calling salts. My parents to come get me before Is I that another way to say cocaine? Too late! Bobby! Ah! Hey, kid! You owe me five arrowheads for this week's protection, sir. What the fuck happened to this kid's teeth? Leader. I don't know. Well, you'll be causing a bloody tear. And this kid's hey, ear. Know. Jesus. I heard a rumor that you were raised in the circus. Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here. You look like really? a fucking noodle because person. Because you look more mm -hmm. like the cotton candy. <laughs> Burn. Benny, put this kid's death on my to-do list. So I would not eat any Come cotton on. candy that looked we'll like him. Class. Yeah, we'll settle Why would this you eat cotton candy that looks field. like that? I don't know. That sounds like a terrible one. I mean, I don't tend to eat cotton candy anyway, but... Coach Oleander, that is valid. I'm reporting for basic braining. Son, 
Do you realize that to take my course, I will have to pull you into my mind? You will have to relive every bullet-scarred memory of every battle I have ever faced. Won't be pretty. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? I'm ready, I'm ready sir. sir. Well then... Are you ready, kids? Oh, aye, aye, captain. Captain. Get in here I can hear 20. you. Oh, aye, aye, captain. God, I fucking love SpongeBob. This Doji is SpongeBob. So, I mean, basically the staple of every of like a generation world. of kids' childhoods. It looks yeah, like a no, dentist office. A mental uh, you cannot go wrong office. with SpongeBob. Mm -hmm. It's a recruiting office, kids, and I'm here to recruit you for the greatest job in the world, being a psychonaut. It's about fighting a war for mental freedom. Are you ready to face torture? For a second, I thought he was the greatest song in the world, and I immediately called Nation D. Oh, me, sir. So the kid in the sailor out, hat uh, apparently soldier. grew up in a brothel. But you said there's only one way out of here. Well, as long as I don't hear uh, the uh, as long as I don't hear any revenge songs playing on about uh, him getting revenge on someone for forcing his mother into a brothel, I think we're good. Hmm. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Puppy power. What kind of course is this? Kid just got uh, I'm killed. going to hell for putting up. Mm -hmm. course, you bleeding heart. He's not dead. His astral projection just got kicked out of my mind. And I'll kick your astral projection out of here too if you don't get moving right now. Oh wow, I was not expecting a swear word in this. Like this is sort of a kid's game, but it's also very much not. <laughs> I was gonna say, well, it looked like a kid's game based off of the graphics and stuff. Yeah. Also, I saw earlier that this was a PS1 game. Um, I think so. This also Jesus might be a PS2 Christ. game. Certainly Still, that Jesus, era, late old. PS1, Black. early PS2. That's, just a figment of my imagination. that's old as shit. Yeah. Right 2005, I think it was. They hope you rank up. And when you rank up, that you earn new years psychic years. powers. So whenever you see a pigment, suck it up, soldier. This game would be Come old on, enough to drive a, a uh, drive a car you know, in the, piggy, the U.S. Piggy. Yeah. Who's coaches, little piggy? Hey, what are you staring at? We all Probably have fun, emotional I think baggage, the, kid. The Why don't you make yourself difference. useful? And sort some of it out while you're in here. Keep your eyes peeled for a but Yeah, the, the thing about this game is it came out like the exact same day as a Halo, and so it was a commercial flop. Well, yeah, because it came out the same day as a fucking Halo game. Yeah. But, like, it's basically considered a cult classic. I mean, hey, yeah, if it's cult classic, it's cult classic. Who am I to question? There you go, buddy. Got you your tag. I'm actually just gonna turn this, see if I can turn the sound down a little bit. Hopefully, thank God it's not glitching. Just as so I'm struggling to hear you, if nothing else. Oh yeah, it must be really loud on your end, but it's really quiet on my end because Discord. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, they had to. I am not... They had to like crowdfund uh, part of the sequel. I'm not surprised, but at the same time, I'm impressed that they managed to do it. Yeah. I can't remember exactly how much they they got soldier. from the crowdfunding, but uh, yeah, I mean the fact that they managed to crowdfund a full game from it is still pretty fucking impressive. Oh, 100%. And is you know, is testament to how, you know, enjoyed the, uh, the game was. Yep. Timber and all that jazz. Well, 
I don't want to go too fast, otherwise I'll burn up. We can't get past this. This is stupid. Something, hmm. something, burn, baby, burn, just going for now. There's probably a secret, more advanced route. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, please, you're not. Oh my God, you idiot! <laughs> Sorry. What? I'm not stupid. You're stupid. The coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. That thing flying at Very, you. very, uh, <laughs> incredible <laughs> vocabulary. Yeah. That's what? You stupid new kid. Yeah. It almost hurts to look at that <laughs> little fucker. <laughs> look at that fucking, those fucking noodle arms, that noodle neck. Yeah. For saving me. Well, actually, I was saving this plant. Huh. Never seen one so meaty before. I have. It's been appearing in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? Oh, I've been reading about how to fix those. Will you let me see one? Hmm. No. I like her. Yeah, she's great. She has a fun attitude. Good thing about this game, no fall damage. Oh, that's definitely good. So don't have to worry about that. Come on, one night. So there's two ways to get across. Um, I believe I can go up this ladder here. Should be able to go up this ladder. Yeah. Go up this ladder. Very easily get past. Is it a chaos ladder? Yeah. Or I can go down here. The classified route. Does that get you like bonus shit? I mean, it gives you these uh, the opportunity to get these fragments. Fuck. I'm bad at platforming, you are going to find out while I play this game. <laughs> I'm very bad at platforming, especially in a PS1 era game that, you know, isn't great on that kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to go back because I want to get as many fragments as possible, because that's how you level up. Interesting. Uh, put it this way, to get the platinum you had to get all of the fragments, which is not easy, because they're 2D and sometimes their colours blend in very well with the backgrounds. I mean, it doesn't sound nearly as bad as, say, trying to collect all those flags in Assassin's Creed. I mean, no. It's, like, it's not a terrible platinum to have to try and do, by any stretch. That's yeah, why no. I was Again. able to actually do it, in the end. Mm. But at the same time, yeah, said, it's... Upward, nope, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Shouldn't have done that. Tried to go for the fragment. That was a mistake. Now, if I just stay on this one, I should be able to get both of these floating ones. Nope! If I don't fall off, that is. Miss it completely. Fucking missed it again. Oh, God. Let's try this again. See what I mean? They're 2D. That makes it very hard to judge exactly their flight path. Jesus. Part of the issue may have been that I was just going under it. I don't know. Okay. Should be able to get it on this run around. Shut up, Oleander. Oh, no, I can't. I have to be on this one, I think. Yes, got it. Phew. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Did not want to have to go around again. You know what? Out of all the games I've played, I think this one reminds me most of uh, Attack and the Power of Juju, which is a blast from the fucking past. Because hey, I remember playing that on my PlayStation Two way back in like the mid two thousands. Did you get a cartoon or a TV show? No. I believe it did. Call you Joey. <laughs> my name? I believe one of the main cast was a 
Classic Kimbo type. I feel like I remember a show called that. I don't think I remember the game. Okay. I'll have no! To Why would you drop all the way down there? <laughs> Fucking rip. Oh, no. Nah. No, nope, that didn't work. By the way, how long is this game? Uh, we will not be completing it in one stream. Um, I didn't think so. Lanny has Lanny Pato from TFS has also been playing it, um, and I think he managed to complete it in four or five streams of about two hours long. That's not bad at all. Uh, again, remember though, bad at platforming, so I cannot promise that it will. Uh, I will be any quicker than that, or as quick mm -hmm. as that. I'm also more like, uh, like committed to collecting the figments than he was, so, uh, again, I can't promise anything. Now that kind of wall, you can climb it up, mm. down, sideways, whatever way you want. Just get on it, quick, like a monkey. down. So over the past few days I've been uh, remembering just how fucking dumb Naruto is. Oh yeah. Like the, uh, what was it? Like the whole fucking curse of hatred thing for the uh, fucking Uchiha clan. I just seems oh, yeah. very dumb. doing this now because afterwards I'm gonna have to walk Dogen through this and that's not easy. Mostly because he oh, keeps hey, stopping. Dogen. What's wrong? I keep blowing up. Follow me. Okay. He's not all there, is he? Uh he's exploded four people's heads. Okay then. Oh thank god. Is he, is he gonna actually go? Oh, thank you, God. I can't do it. I Damn can't it, Dogen, do it. you are literally there. You just have to walk forward. No, Dogen! Yes, can, Dogen. <laughs> Dogen, no! <laughs> Dogen, no. Don't, don't run into the mine. <laughs> Please, I'm begging you. Look, Rest. Yeah, Attack and Power Dude was the name of both the game it. and the hey. uh, TV show. Um, this is for helping me out. Okay, bye. And yes, there was a himbo on the show, voiced by Patrick Warburton. Ah. Uh, I'm not sure how much of it I actually watched, but I do, I'm fairly sure, like, I, uh, watched it at my, uh, after-school club. Hey, no one told me to pack a shoot. Mm -hmm. Did Washington have a shoot when he crossed the yeah. Delaware? Jack, I mean, part of the Jack, you're American. Did Washington have a parachute when he crossed the Delaware? all going to die. No, parachutes haven't been invented my yet. My whole life is flashing before my eyes. My first memory is of my dog, Lady. Lady and I used to go for long walks. Oh. They would go on. Oh yeah, the the himbo isn't as much of a himbo in the show because he's more of an asshole. Lady. That explains things. Mm. By the way, hey, Jack, it's you may not yeah. realize this because Discord's yeah. audio is shit, yeah. but uh, the guy voicing Raz is yeah, Invader Zim. No good. And the coach won't open the gate God damn. Yay, Raz! Just punch that to start. Oh yeah, did you know that he was, you know that he's in that one uh, web series, Hell, Hell of a Boss, boss right? Yeah. yeah. He's great in that. Mm. Fucking love that series. You score enough points on this course, kid, and I'll give you a reward. Punch, punch, punch! Punch! Hooray! Punch! Hooray! Punch! Hooray! Punch! 
God, so many PlayStation games from the mid 2000s are just so fucking weird. Yeah. I mean, that is kind of a reward. They were a little bit annoying. Mm. Most people, they got something to hide. They store away their shame, their dirty little secrets, and these tiny vaults in their minds. But the enemy is not God fucking damn it. Secrets in Every time, time I see so the phrase little secrets, bust open that this damn ball. song gets stuck I in my head. <laughs> Oleander's pride. Is that pride flag? No. Nope. Uh, no. <laughs> Darn, that would have been so funny if it was. Mm. It'd be very ironic for someone like him to be uh, planting a pride flag at, uh, that. One of my at a war site. Yeah. Seems very much like the boastful, uh, braggadocious uh, soldier type. You know? Hmm. That's teleport. Now I have to get past this machine gun. Which I forget exactly how I'm supposed to do. I think you're supposed to use someone as a distraction so that you can, uh, and or as a meat shield, right? That's how it's supposed to work, right? I'm fairly sure these there are supposed to be walls coming up here. But that arm. But I can... It's... Oh, I... That's... That's right. I have to do that. Now I remember. Poor bunnies. Fucking rip. Yep. More mental baggage sorted. Ow. Worth it. <laughs> shit, shit, fuck, shit, shit, fuck. I should really save this oh. until after I, after the machine gun has stopped, you know, shooting. But hey. Run, uh, what are our priorities even? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Bobby. Yeah. Bobby B. I'm fairly sure that means he was the one shooting at me. Ah, uh, that does not surprise me. Oh, what kind of weird dimensional shit is this? Oh, it gets worse. It gets worse. <laughs> Trust me. Okay, on a scale from 1 to Doctor Strange, how trippy? Uh, Doctor Strange. This game is trippy as fuck. Neat. Should I be on drugs to enjoy this? I don't have any, but should I be? Ah, uh, I'm sure it would help the experience, but you don't have to be. I mean, I am unfortunately not able to access any such psychotropic substances, so... Even if I wanted to, I probably couldn't, so whatever. Still, it's fun to hypothesize. Also, I can see why it'd be really hard to get the charms and shit. Yeah. Uh, because uh, the way that one was oriented seems like it'd be extremely difficult to yeah. uh, <laughs> spot. As I said, it's, it's not easy at all. <laughs> and it just gets worse as the levels go on. It really mm -hmm. does. Yeah. 
Okay, that's the wrong way. Grab! Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, it sticks, sticks to me. Oh, that's right. I have to do that. Hold it right there, boy. That's a mental cobweb. You can collect them with a specialized piece of equipment once you get checked out on it. Till then, just steer clear of them. Oh, Mill. Here's some news I'm sure you'll like. There's a soccer manga that's getting an anime adaptation next year. Oh yeah, um, what was it, Blue Lock? Blue Lock. It's game day, kid. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm hoping it'll be, you know, better animated than uh, Farewell, My Dear Kramer. Yeah, and, fucking and, rip on that one. And we'll know the rules of football better than Farewell, My Dear Kramer. I think I see a thing right above you. Yeah, I see it. I'm just trying to figure out how... It looks like a... Oh no, I can't say what it looks like. Never mind. How far are you guys into Mass Effect now? Um, we have finished Bring Down the Sky, so we're gonna go to Vermeer next. Oh, Vermeer's fun. You mm -hmm. the trapeze is You're gonna scary. enjoy that one. Most cadets can't handle it. You might just want we to also took the, um, we now you have the best medium armor. Ribbon at the end of camp. Good. Or, so what, or from what we've heard, we have the best medium armor. Which is the stuff you get from Bring Down the Sky, right? More or less, yeah. Bring Down the Sky has some good drops. And we... No, don't jump backwards! I mean, I could clearly see that one up there. Did not need to go into first person mode to get it. Oh boy, this is some fun news nope. I just found. Oh. oh. You fucking died. Holy yep. shit. <laughs> Why is this in the fucking sky? Uh. -huh. Oh come on! How did I get that one? Ah, I got it. Oh, there you go. A zeppelin. Thank God he actually grabbed it this time. Are you playing with controller or are you playing on keyboard? Controller. Game day, kid. That's good. That missed it. it. Missing a bunch of them. It's not easy. It does not respond that quickly. No. I mean, this is an old school game too, so. <laughs> I just got punched. Are there? I see them all over the fucking place. Uh, let me check. Wow, in this area there are eleven, but well, I can't remember. I can't remember. But there are a fuck ton because they're in every single like mental level, and the max level you can get to is a hundred and one. And figments is like the main way you get you rank up. Oh, do not remind me. I have I have the fucking meme song of that, which is like the fucking like ten hour version, which I absolutely adore. Whenever I remember to put it on, I instantly like I'm in a happy mood. Yeah. I love Barchi. I wanted to get a second season. Same. 
th I heard the manga just ended not too long ago. Well, hopefully they have enough. And hopefully uh, it ended with Bocchi doing what she uh, should have done from the very beginning, which is uh, dumping Kai-chan. Because she is the one true villain. I know Kai-chan is not great, but like, I think you're bizarrely insist on her being the ultimate antagonist of a series that doesn't really have one. She is the one true villain of old media. So you got struck by ranting and you fell off. Yep. <laughs> Should be a lesson. <laughs> nope. Gonna keep ranting. It's all I have going for me. <laughs> I mean, if I was more patient, I would just, you know, wait for it to uh, actually level out. But I'm not that patient, so... I mean, if I was smart, I would just, you know, get off of here, but I'm not. No. No, no, fuck. Fucking rip. <laughs> I told you, I'm not very good at this game. I mean, it doesn't seem like a particularly intuitive game. No, it does not give you a lot of hints, frankly. But at the same time, this is fairly simple on what you need to do. God, I got that one mm -hmm. first. It's just that my uh, my reaction times are bad. No, oh, mm. missed that one. In terms of uh, knowing when to change direction, for example. Yep. Oh, uh, you know what's funny? What? I just realized that we left off the last uh, One Piece review we did. Uh, not review. Uh, video we did. We ended off on one of the biggest, most Whoa. brutal cliffhangers Hello. in the series. Guess I'm early. Well, people will wait because we're not doing it this weekend either. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but uh, hard to really go into why. But uh, hopefully, we'll be doing more One Piece in the near future. Right yeah, there, is all I will say you. on the matter. Now, just what in the Sam Hill do you Until think then. You're doing in there? We will work on other content. Yeah. This weekend is Assassination so Classroom, hey, the wonderful, wonderful series by Yusei, Yusei Matsui. Mm-hmm. As class is great. Yeah. Bod Kruller? Who's he? That circle are all powers you get, I believe. Wow. But I'm always glad to see a soldier come back from the field alive. Seems pretty neat. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go back in. I left some good men. Okay. Back there. <laughs> Way to make us look bad in there. You're in trouble now. Bobby Zilch ain't happy. I'm not surprised I punched him in the face. Watch yourself, Goggolicious. What's that hair boy? You want a piece of me? Hey, Brainiacs. Hair boy, down. you can come up with a better ah, fucking nickname. You yeah. worried I'm gonna hurt your boyfriend? No. Because Sasha Nine is standing right behind Nine. you. Nine! <laughs> your performance, young cadet, was outstanding. I'd like you to oh, Sasha. My lab for some advanced. The name training. Sasha is so weird to me oh. because. Most of the time I've seen it, it's a girl's name, but then I remember in Eastern Europe, it's also yeah. a guy's name. Yeah. Special beating later, okay? Also, uh, that line was, you know, a sign of the fact that the game was made in the early 2000s. <laughs> and probably... Oh, what line? Uh, Raz the Spaz. Oh, yeah. Remember... Your talent I mean, there, always set you there are worse ones. There are worse possible Sometimes lines they could have done. Hmm. Is a good thing. Like Raz, the uh, R word. Important discovery. On the subject of that, I've been watching some old TFS plays, and Wait, boy, does that word get used uh, a distressing amount. Kind of <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, it was a popular insult way back in the mid-2000s, yeah. mid early 2010s. Yeah. And now I'm hearing things. Great. It is a psychic camp. Mm. Also, children and middle schoolers are uh, 
can be real assholes. Hey, oh, absolutely. You stole a button from the geodesic psycho isolation chamber. No, I didn't. I. Bobby Zilch gave it to me. Yep, throw him into that no, bus. That kid spends more time in the cooler than in school. Reminds me of myself <laughs> when I was his age. Well, go put it back. Yes, sir. Hey, coach, where is the G? Don't you know how to use your map? Right, yes, sorry. So the good thing about um, having played this game before and having, you know, looked at stuff like the TV tropes page is I know uh, the funny interactions. Good. That's Fine. good. No. There. Ah, and I missed it. Fuck it. I'll come back for it. Okay. I'm gonna close my eyes, right? And then I'm gonna start to count to a hundred. Okay? Counting to a hundred. I remember hide. doing that as Everybody a kid. Everybody got it? It's hide and seek, Vernon, not hide and calculus. We've all got it. I got it. You start counting. Counting to one hundred is and then calculus. I'll go hide in that bush. <laughs> my sweet right. summer child. What? Milka, you're a genius. Come on, Dogen. Did she just Hold fucking on. turn invisible? Yes. That is that is a power in this it's game. About Hello? That's neat. Man, you guys are good. I think this button is a clue to the location of Sasha 9's secret lab. Really? Hang on. I'll use my power of clairvoyance on it to see if he's got any ladies in there. Nope. Just move. You know. Under the right circumstances or and or with the right wielder, clairvoyance is a broken ass ability. Yeah. In fairness, clairvoyance clairvoyance in this game is more um looking through something's eyes. I might not get into Sasha's. That's not really clairvoyance though. I know. Clairvoyance is being able to like see into the past or future. No yeah. passing, but I need to get to Sasha 9's secret lab. Oh, they're holding hands. How cute. Uh, it is very much implied that they are uh, lesbians together. Or at least one of them is a lesbian. And the other is bisexual. They're lesbians? How sweet. That's nice. Like I said, this, this game looks like it's for kids, but it is very much not for kids. I mean, I don't think character sexuality should really determine whether or not it's kids. No. Owl House is that. No, but in 2005, it would, you know, LGBTQ characters would not be in kids' games. Thanks mm. for the hand, right, hand right. wringing Christians. God. You know what's funny about Mass Effect is, uh, there was apparently plans to have more, um, queer romances in the second game because a bunch of moral guardians on Fox News threw a fucking hissy fit that the R was romanceable by uh, M Shop, uh, they had to nix all those options because uh, the executives were like, no, we don't want to chance it again with this game. And then they told them all to go fuck themselves with uh, Dragon Age 2. Basically. But it's unfortunate that they had that they thought that the higher up side was necessary to sacrifice some same sex romance options in the second game. Yeah. Hey, I'm Kyle. Cannot live forever. Hey, I got this button from Sasha 9 and I have to give it back. Do you know where a secret lab is? Do not know. Why not ask Foxy girlfriend over there? Again with the girlfriend thing. <laughs> Listen. Hey, just kidding. If I will know a woman good for only one thing, wrestling. <laughs> Unless you have skinny arms like your girlfriend. Then, out of luck. So let's go meet one of the best characters in this game. Welcome to the Whispering Rock. Oh boy, Cartman this huh? Rapid transit mm -hmm. system. Would you like to go back to your private I have mixed feelings on cart levels from video games cuz To be fair, this is not a level. This is just this is just a fast travel uh mechanic. Oh, okay, that's good. Sanctuary. That's good. Yes, noble psycho master. I'm pretty much the only way to get to this area, I believe.
Yeah, going back to the Owl House, hmm. it's just been on fucking fire lately. Oh no, it's been absolutely superb. I've been enjoying the fuck out of it. That fight scene in the most recent episode was just so fucking brilliant. Yeah. Also, didn't realize that uh, Amity and Katara have the same voice actor. Yeah, no, that's pretty great. What are you doing here at Whispering Rock? Especially with the uh, parallels that uh, popped up in the latest episode between the yeah. two characters. Makes this a very critical and to make sure you little spoon. Titanium. That sounds fucking fun. Thanks. Don't worry. My head. Yep. I want to keep my eye on you, son. So I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your noggin. If you ever want to make me appear, you can do it with this special device. Is that a piece of bacon? <laughs> oh yeah. I just love bacon. I smell that stuff, and I can't help See, it. See, this man I gets it. Bacon's the good running. shit. Okay. But not your shitty American you bacon. Baggy or something I could put this in? You get I mean, I like some American right bacon, here. as long as it's not like ultra crunchy, crispy, like burnt to shit. That's the thing, all, some... all American bacon I've seen has been so, cr so crispy well, that to the, the point bacon. of like, there's just no point to it. You have oh, to try actual like English bacon or British bacon, like. I have had Canadian bacon and I have had English bacon. I don't know how you go back to American bacon then. It's what's available to me. <laughs> also, I do like American bacon, it's just like, it depends on how it's prepared. Because if it's ultra crispy crunchy, I do not like it nearly as much as if it's uh, got a bit of softness to it. You know? Yeah. It's like with fry. It's like french fries. If they're too crispy, they're just gross. We're making friendship bracelets. You know, for our friends. Hey, yes, is friends. That my name on that one? Not unless That's what you are to each other, right? Mm -hmm. Definitely just friends. Just oh. gals being pals. I guess I saw an R and, and an A. What's your name again, kid? Spaz? Mm. My name's Raz. Well, Spaz, why don't you go bother someone else? Can I ask you guys a question? Hmm. No. I'll leave them alone. If you were going to make a friendship bracelet, you could maybe use this button here. Why? So you could unbutton this it button and do. Off when you got tired of being friends with me. Who said you were making it for me? Uh. You know, if you were going to shut up, you could use that button on your lips. How about that? Gee. Ooh, she's sassy. Mm. Is she a tsundere? Uh, yes. Basically. <laughs> I have become so damn tropes heavy because I've watched too much fucking anime. <laughs> hey, it's well, the king of the media in general, course. honestly. Yeah. Hey, Rez! You're awesome! You must be a psychonaut by now! Wow. Yeah, or even a double Just psychonaut! Just your ass, isn't he? Wow, those two are so nice. Wow. What the fuck are they doing? Making poison. Oh, I thought they were making drugs. Okay. Nope, poison. It's like that song, Toxic. Oh, speaking of Britney Spears, uh, there was some big news involving her today. Did she get away from a dickhead dad? Yeah, her dickhead dad has ended the uh, his role in the conservatorship. Oh, thank and God. apparently they're going to investigate uh, his conduct over the past decade and change. That's good. I hope they fucking roast his ass. Oh, yeah. yeah. But on a funnier note, um, besides toxic and maybe... Uh, and maybe sexy back. If you were to kill someone, what song would you do it to? Uh, probably one of those like uber popular songs that uh, everyone proclaimed to love, but you know, went away once the next next popular song came out. 
That does not narrow it down in the slightest. I know, but it's, you know, it's shit like Justin Bieber's Baby, uh, Call Me Maybe, Gangnam Style, that sort of shit. Ah, uh, yes. The popular song of the minutes. Yeah. Excuse Honestly, me. I'd probably do it to either an Enya song or, uh, maybe a week? A week? what you say. I'm the only one back here. These things take time. Oh, what was that, uh? Oh, well, why didn't you say so? So, what do you Fuck, want? I forgot who did that song. Oh, that's my last cobweb duster. Mm, Take that what you said, hey. You can clean up. That's it for now. All right, go hey, get more air heads and come on oh, back. Oh, I thought Support you stopped. No, 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 no. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's there's not much music that I actually dislike if I don't have if I don't have to hear it. If I have to hear it, then yeah, I'm gonna dislike it. Hmm. You know, I like most genres of music. I have a hit love hate relationship with pop music though, and I do not li like most country. Hey, but beyond you that, kid, ain't you? well, I also don't like uh, gangster rap right or mumble rap all that much, actually. Mm. So I don't think. Not really my thing. I do like some hip hop and rap music. Yeah. Like I can listen. I can turn on a, like a Jay Z or Tupac or Biggie song and uh, I'd enjoy it. I used to be a fairly big fan of um, Eminem back in the day, but I've stopped listening to his stuff as much now. I do like Eminem's music. He has some good stuff. Yeah. Is that you? Looking at me? Maybe you should try getting over yourself? There were a lot of other people on that stage besides you. No, well, you may not have noticed, um, which I did only because I knew to look for it, no. was um, mm -hmm. in that opening cutscene when Raz like took his goggles off, Lily's right. legs were trembling. Oh, I noticed that. Some sort mm. of shadowy being out there. The she has it for him very badly, but at the yeah. same time, she does not want to admit it. Mm -hmm. Might be this cutscene where you, it becomes very clear. Let's see. I can't remember this. Okay, not this one. There will be a there will be a cutscene later on. Okay. Yeah, no, she. She very much reminds me of the classic uh, Sundere. Yeah. Hey, look at this button. I said, you know, she's like mm -hmm. 12. I don't care. The gas. Yeah, so this girl uh, is interested in the kid Nils. Um, and she's going out with another kid to try and make him jealous. So we've just told uh, her that. Uh, it came off. It came from Nils's bunk and looked like it came off a girl's dress. Looks like it was just torn off by force. Ooh. I don't care. Curious, turn curious, sir. It's got little teeth marks on it. Get that thing out of my face before I shove it in your eye socket and sew it to your brain. Nils kisses girls on the mouth and likes it. Why don't you just take off your hat and kill me, Dogen? I don't know. <laughs> oh, Dogen. Yeah, that. But... That kid just has an no, off look in his eyes, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, he does. As I said, he has, he has exploded the heads of four people. Murder is fun for children. I mean, you he exploded those squirrels right in front of us. No, True. I don't lose no, he did. I might not get into Sasha's seat. No, I don't want to lose this button. I might not get into Sasha's seat. Oh, look. It bad. Okay, call me crazy, but I have just got to sell giant telekinetic paw. So yes, these prices are real. Puma, is that you? <laughs> also, it looks like it's very happy to see you. Mm. I'm glad. I wouldn't want to, uh... I wouldn't want my arrival to make life for it unbearable. Okay, this is dumb. <laughs> There's no way I can break open that big steel... Yeah, it looks like it can barely contain its excitement. Mm. Is that you? It's me, Maloof. Hang on, buddy. Give me what a What the fuck is a kid. kind of name is Maloof? I don't know. 
Then again, what yes. kind of what the fuck kind of name is Dogen? <laughs> what is this? Thing? Sounds like a Street Fighter character. It's the GPC, a geodesic psychoisolation chamber. Oh man. Or more cool. combat character. Cool. Mm. Or a King of Fighters character. Any idea what this does? A fighting game Something character, cool? basically. Uh, no, it's a six sensory deprivation tank. Ooh, hermetically sealed. Seal metaphysical hotbox. Metaphysical hotbox. Ooh, fancy. Nasty. And the coach walked you inside it? Nah, the staff hasn't put any kids in the GPC since the 50s. Bobby threw me in here. Oh, well, if you lock uh, Mr. Big Hair Bully into that box, I guess you'll have a dick in a box. Sorry, I've been a lo on a Lonely Island kick lately. Just so. Speaking of Lonely Island, uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine Season Eight starts tonight. Oh shit! Really? Yeah. This is the but. This is the button. Oh dang. I might not I'm sad that it's final season, but I get why. Mm. Yep. I just wish they could have gone to season nine so and uh, had a nine episode nine season thematically. Yeah, at least they got you to know, episode ninety nine. Yeah, I do appreciate they are going to end it more or less on their terms. Yeah, knowing well in advance that it is going to be the final season. Yeah. Agent nine. I'm here for the advanced training. Yeah. Well, no full damage. So what are we going to learn? Bending spoons? Burning stuff? I've been hearing a lot about head explosion, and I was wondering... Science, Rasputin. That is what we practice. Raw, raw, Rasputin. Not parlor oh, tricks. I'll stop. If you are serious about exploring head exploding the is a parlor mind, trick, <laughs> according to such a nine. We'll begin. Brain totally, he's never seen scanners. Mm. So, then again, I've never seen scanner, scanner, right scanner right so I went no. Ah, mm. You're ready for the brain tumbler. With this device, we will send you deep into your own psyche, where you should find unparalleled insight and power. Excellent. Tumble away. Now just relax. This will not hurt. Unless something really very bad happens. <laughs> this reminds me of something, but I can't remember what. Wow. Is this what the inside of my mind looks like? Not yet. You're still traveling to the astral plane. This is a tiny corner of what we call the collective unconscious. So, this is where you get to all the uh, all worlds you visit. Unconscious minds are connected. You have just begun your training. Is this like some putt putt so travel through the time type shit? Other minds are still not, not travel through time, but this is those doorways like remain just out of reach. when the you've visited you a world, this is how you get back to it to collect the fragments that you missed right now, in the first the oh, okay. unconscious world you can enter is that thing. Oh, so that plane place was one of the worlds, huh? Step yeah. Through it and we'll continue. That, that was Coach Oleander's mind. Interesting. What, who else's mind can he go to? Uh... Well, can go into our own. Oh, this is some being drum knockfish shit. Rasputin, mm -hmm. can you hear me? Sasha? Where am I? You are inside your own mind, but I'm not sure where. Tell me, what can you see? I see... I also have not seen that movie, but I know enough about it to reference it. it. Yes. <laughs> it's where I was there are actually a lot of movies I haven't see. seen. Compelling. Oh, come back here. Sasha, I'm going inside the caravan. Oh, yeah, what you're not. See inside? Nailed it. Oh, where's the fucking vault? Where did the vault go? There it is. Come back here. Can't run forever. Rasputin's getaway. Damn. Press of acrobatics. Uh, where's he? I believe he's the one at the top. Some cheer team type shit. Mm -hmm. Like A rank cheer team. And look Damn, at him. Look at that kid. Yeah. Seventy pounds.
There's Coach Oleander on the uh, on the psychic nice. summer camp pamphlet. Fortunately, Dad doesn't approve of that. So Raz world runs away. Pony. On the world's smallest pony, by the looks of things. Hilarious. Then arrives at Whisker Whispering Rock Summer Camp. Nice. Okay, now I will go in the caravan. I'm not sure. It's getting fuzzy. Fuzzy, when did he get here? <laughs> uh oh. What? No, I'll figure it out. Yes, but I have to wait for the funny dialogue to to uh, Excuse me. Tell to me happen. what is happening. Well, I'm kind of stuck in a little white space. Hmm. How little? Really little. Do you feel trapped? No. Confined? No. Smothered like you're buried alive? No! Ah! Get me out of here! Can you find your way out? Oh, I, I hear Zim now. Anything. Yeah. Can you fight your way out? Man, I have not huh? watched much of Zim. I need to watch it again at some point. Mutant, but carefully. Punch your way out, Rasputin. Now, hurry! Punch, punch, punch. This test is costing the taxpayers a lot of money. <laughs> wow. <laughs> there we go. That was what I was waiting for. <laughs> Rasputin, are you okay? Funnily enough, I actually have now? a pair of those goggles. I see a small, funny are they like useful animals. anyway? Uh, no. They're in fact quite small for my head as well. But they're cool. I got got them from I think Loot Crate. And it should lead you somewhere important. That's neat. Okay, Mr. Bun. You and I are gonna be tight. Wherever you go, I go. Like two peas in a Hey! Come back here. I keep seeing mention of a PS1 graphics, uh, not graphics, uh, memory card. Mm. Which tells me that this is a fucking PS1 game. Yeah. This is probably the end of the PS one of the last PS1 games. Because mm -hmm. I remember the PS2 was big in the mid 2000s. No, this is more of a. 2005 was around the time of the PS2, if I remember correctly. What? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm pulling you out of there. Just give me a second. Uh, Sasha. Pretty sure that came out in like 2004 or something. Second, uh, oh, PS2. I think so, yeah. Something like that. Almost ready. Hmm. That should not have happened. We need to try that again. Oh, I don't think I need to be in the tumbler with the glowy eye guys anymore. Suit yourself. You know, in many tribal societies, learning to defeat the monsters you see in your dreams is considered a rite of passage. I can train you to fight. Come see me when you're ready. Okay, I'm ready to learn how to really fight. Oh, really? Hmm. <laughs> what? Uh, nothing. It's just that I didn't think you'd really take me up on that offer. It usually scares the kids off. Well, not me. <laughs> I'm ready to kill for my camp. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry, but I can't train you. Agent Modelo would kill me. What's the big deal? What she doesn't know won't hurt her. You don't even have a marksmanship learner's permit. I could lose my job. I'll get one. Even if you used that secret passage over there and snuck into his sanctuary, Agent Cruller would never give you a marksmanship learner's permit. Agent Cruller? Never in a million... I'm off. Be right back after I talk with Agent Crawler. <laughs> Good luck yeah. with that, Zim. Level eight. Where would you like? Two more. So I'm actually going to go oh. to the main lodge. I'm going to get try and find two more cards. 
shouldn't be too difficult. Theoretically. You were there being theoretically. Wow, actually, actually, I'll go in here first. Hey, where's my? Uh, I told. Just kidding. Don't push. Oh, that's my last cobweb. Now with that, now you take, take that shot. Excellent choice. What else can I do you for? Right, those then. two. What else can I do you that's for? That's it for now. All right. Go get more uh, airheads. Is there anything Come in on here? Back. Hey, where are you Come stopping? On, oh, I thought you stopped. No, 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 no. Let's go. Uh, right. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Up here. There. And then, theoretically. Theoretically. So let's say okay. hypothetically that you could get to the right place. What? Have you ever had a weird nightmare about there we go. a bathtub? Is this a joke setup? Uh... Okay, two more cards. It would probably be easier, honestly, if I go. So, if you get enough cards, can you make a deck to play card games on motorcycles? Uh, there are no card games and there are no motorcycles, so no. Darn. That's unfortunate. If I get this card. Oh, yes. Hi, watery hand. Is it flipping you off? No, it's telling me to come into the water. You have a lot of ah, so it's beckoning you. Me too! Mm. You know, there's something to be said about uh, watery bents and swords. Water. Yeah. In this. It's a bunch of hooey anyway. <laughs> So oh, Monster Fast and the Holy Grail is great. One of the best movies ever. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was about the whole thing with the brainy oh, man. that walks out of the I remember and back when uh, 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 Gypsy wasn't considered a slur. Well, see ya. And now it is recognizably, um, understandably considered yes. one. Mm -hmm. I saw you and Lily talking in the coach's class. I believe the correct term for uh, that uh, Romani group is now Romani, yes. Yeah. What? Oh. I think it was always Romani, but yeah, Romani is the term. So I believe they prefer. Excellent. Bye. There we go. Where would? Go to the sanctuary. Yes. You know, it's kind of insane that uh, this is a PS1 game and. Uh, the sequel's coming out in the PS5 era. Now, before yeah. you go electrocuting yourself, let me tell you how these babies work. Now, this beauty here is a mental cobweb detangler. Oh, I know what those are. Mental cobwebs are... You see, when an area of your psyche is neglected for too long, mental cobwebs form. Now, up in the camp store, they sell a very special device known as a mental cobweb duster. You can 800 arrowheads that costs. The mental world with you and use it to extract any cobwebs you find. Oh, oh boy. I've struggled to gain more than 30 at this side. point in the game. So you can take what you collect back here. Hook That's the currency the in the game? Yeah, arrowheads. Tangled mess into something useful, mm -hmm. like a card from a side challenge marker, which brings us to this fella over here. You put nine side cards. If only there were credits. Guy. Credits are so much easier to acquire. Mm -hmm. By looting corpses and stealing feet. from safes. And it will kick out a bona fide side challenge market, which will earn you a promotion. I think we've uh, we've hit the million mark in terms of credits after selling like all all our level five stuff. Put my mental cobwebs in there. And my yeah, no, it's not that hard to get a shit ton of credits in Mass Effect. Yeah. Yep, basically. Like especially with all the side missions. Yeah. I feel like a Sora. I see. Yes. It's actually kind of a bit harder to get credits in the, the second and third games because there's only so many missions and you can't sell gear anymore. Yeah. Said that I can use this machine to turn pine needles into delicious taffy. 
I said it turns metal cobwebs into side cards. Just testing your hearing. Oh, so it's side cards, not PS1 cards. So this might actually be a PS2 game. I don't you yeah, yeah, me. Still though. PS2 versus PS5 is still a huge leap. Yeah, no, it's still a massive leap. Okay. So that should be one level. Wow, that should be two levels. She gets me up to level 10. Which, if I can platform my way up there successfully, which is easier said than done because I'm bad. I and mean, this is just standard platforming. It's not a thing particularly hard like a Metroidvania game. Your hard work, dedication and mental agility. I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for Pyrokinesis. I can set, set stuff on fire now. And yes, everyone is fairly sure they aped off the Rocky theme for that bit of music. I can't hear the music because Discord cool. shit. I can't wait to burn some... Inside your mind? Well, I thought you'd like to be in a familiar place for your first pyrokinesis lesson. lesson. Good old pyrokinesis. Yep. I think of something you'd like to burn. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, yes, I heard Let's you were raised in the burn. circus. No. But why would you want to burn all these happy memories here? If they were happy memories, I wouldn't have run away. My dad, he hates psychics, and he knew I was becoming one. So all day long, he would force me to practice my acrobatics, hoping to distract me, or maybe hoping to kill me. I never was sure. Now why are you still talking when you could be burning stuff? I didn't train you in that, so you could set me on fire. Now knock it off! Great! Great! Now, focus! You're getting warmer. Keep going. Ooh, it's getting hot in here! Now, the strange thing is, that says R, but I'm using the left trigger on my PS2 control, PS4 controller. Yeah, that's fun. Excellent work. Fire is pretty. Okay, that's the end of the lesson. You're free to go, but you have to promise me, only use your power, pyrokinesis only, when it's very, very important. Or it's really, really entertaining. <laughs> I promise. And if you're doing it to impress girls, make sure none of them have on a lot of hairspray. <laughs> have you or anyone you've ever known uh, done the whole deodorant with a lighter thing? Did you call her? John, how goes the training? Oh, like the axe spray and uh, using a lighter for a flamethrower? Yeah. Sasha says I need to learn how to fight. Uh, I haven't, but I believe I had combat? some friends I'm in middle school or high school who yeah. did it in the locker room and all that. A huge monster with yellow eyes and a because of the teenagers and all that jazz. Yeah. Did it happen to spit anything at you? Yeah. Uh, on my idiot teenager like front, instead of doing it with a lighter, um... We were having, um, like, a camp out with my rugby team, uh, with, you know, a big fire, uh, and somebody threw a deodorant can on it. That sounds like a terrible idea. Yeah, it did explode. Um, I think it exploded, anyway. Oh, Even worse. Well, actually, no. Uh, the funny thing was, um, at that camp we did some, uh, I'd better go. We did some, um, like, clay pigeon shooting. Ooh. Um, so he had some, well, basically shotgun, uh, rounds, um, and, mm. uh, the guy who was in charge of that, uh, managed to carve off the bit with the pellets, but not the gunpowder, and chucked that on the fire as well. Oh, boy. Roger that. That was pretty fun. You know what? <laughs> but we did still you run, just fun? in case. Speaking into a hole in Speaking the of, uh, hey, camping Lily? trips that involve explosives. Oh. Rush. 
I'll wait for this scene to be over. This might be the uh, the first sign. I hate to burst your bubble, but the psychonauts are not what they used to be. They just ain't what they used to be. The world just doesn't need us anymore. The world does too need psychonauts. Right here at this very camp, in fact. I think there are several. Did she just fucking roll her eyes. Yes. You are so immature and cute. What are you gonna just shut up and kiss me? Oh. There we go. Shut up and do what? Oh, I didn't know you could. Uh, I gotta go. Bye. So <laughs> gonna fucking flustered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of teenage dumbassery and explosives, uh, when I was in Boy Scouts, we uh, went to a rocketry camp. There's no less than two incidents, uh, incidences of someone of a rocket uh, platform falling on its side and launching towards someone. Better than what I thought, which was shoving the rocket up the uh, up the rear door. No, no one was that dumb. Okay, I got you can't blame me. Yeah, no, for wondering. Excellent. Well, my yeah. house is covered. No, <laughs> no one was sure that dumb. Are ready to do this? It could be dangerous. Yes. Are you gonna pull me into your mind like the coach did? Hmm. No offense, but it's time you saw what an organized mind looks like. Okay, this level is very funny. Oh boy, what you gotta be doing now? You will see. So you're going into his brain? Yep. Oh, it's black and white. Welcome to my mind. Huh. It's so empty. Uh, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> There's more here than meets the eye, but I've learned to keep it under strict control, and that's what I'm going to teach you. Control your feelings, your fears, your anger. You must learn to control them. Focus them. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. And release hate them. Leads... Oh, wait, wrong franchise. No, as firepower. Say something hideous and horrible jumps out at you. Something so disgusting that it simply must die. Jeff Bezos. <laughs> ah, oh, it's so tacky. I can't look directly at it, but I control those feelings. The lamp Focus is funny, them. I will admit, but I think mine's funnier. Yeah. And release. It reminds and me of the fucking, um... Your turn meme that uh kaiser did of um the fucking looney tunes uh dog season rabbit season then turning to uh well done Raz. Um, well done, billionaire Raz. season didn't use uh bezos Excellent. in that occasion i think he used musk instead but it was now hilarious for precision <laughs> uh, targeting. i mean they all of kaiser's memes are hilarious he is very they good at editing them perfectly also, I do agree that billionaires should not exist. Mm. Eliminate these monsters in the proper sequence, and we can move but on that's, to the uh, next lesson. Going any further into that would be delving into politics, and let's not do that here. Again, good. Again. Now then. One, two, three, four, five, five, five. No. Is this what you saw in your vision? Mumbo, don't try to suck well, my head now. It sure <laughs> seemed a lot bigger in my head. Ah, it's a good ass song, so I'm not gonna complain too much. Mm -hmm. they really are. That's an important lesson to learn. But this is a sensor, an integral part of any sane person's mind. The sensors roam through your psyche, looking for thoughts that don't belong. Hallucinations, manias, waking dreams. The sensors hunt them down and censor them out. Why do they come after me? I'm not a mania. Yes, but you are a foreign entity in my mind. You technically don't belong here. Yes, but I was attacked in my own head. Yes, well, the brain tumbler could be malfunctioning, or you could be insane. We'll test for that later. Tumbler? For now, malfunctioning? Blast it. Ah. No. That's the spirit. I killed it. It was just a thought I was having, and it's not dead. It has just returned to its basic form, raw psychic energy. Go absorb it. It's good for your mental health. Ah, yes, therapy. As you yeah. absorb this energy, your mental health increases. I think that's increases. how it works. <laughs> but as you psi blast, you expend your will to do damage. So be on the lookout for these small, dense clusters of raw psychic aggression. 
Absorb these as well to make sure you always have enough firepower. Now I'll leave the machine on for you so you can practice. You have to blast 1,000 sensors to earn your marksmanship merit badge. Come back every day for practice and you should have enough in as little as three weeks. Three weeks? I only have a few days to earn all my merit badges and become a psychonaut. Slow and steady wins the race, my eager young friend. Now practice, slowly and carefully. Oh, man. So I hope you're ready to sit here and watch me kill a thousand of these things. That's why. You have to kill a literal thousand. Yep. By the way, you were talking about, uh, like, weird dimension stuff. Oh, that's fucking wild. I love it. But who really has time for uh, a thousand of these things? What's that gauge do? Does it make it harder to kill them? No, it just turns up how quickly they appear. Oh, okay. Mm, still not fast so enough. you actually have to kill a thousand? No, because I do this instead. What have you done? This is not control. This is chaos. I'll try to fix it. You stay here and keep the numbers under control. Ooh, have fun with that. Yeah. But while you are keeping those numbers under control, I'm going to, uh, take care of something real quick. I'll be right back. You have fun with your, uh, little extermination project, though. Will do. Hi, Sasha. See those valves? That is where the sensors are leaking out. Psy blast the valves to shut them down and get this area under control. I will, just as soon as I've collected everything there is to collect in this area. That I can collect in this area, certainly. Can also just punch him in the face, which is good. Tag. If I was more of a connoisseur of classical music, I would know what you know classical music piece this was uh, inspired by, but I don't. Ah. Ah, oh. ah, oh. oh, oh, dear. When I was playing this level on the PS4, I missed the uh, Sasha's second vault, so I'll have to keep an eye out for that on one of the future levels. Fuck them up. So the thing is, it's also a very good way of, you know, getting arrowheads, so I'm gonna keep doing it. Figment. Ooh, that was close. Figment. Bye, suckers. Pigment. Pigment. Crying bag. Oh, wow. Man, the visuals of this are so fucking bizarre. Yeah, they really are. It's not the weirdest game I've seen, though. What is the weirdest game you've seen? Hard to say, but it might well be that one game uh, I watched a... Uh, Logstar play with along with Fuzzy. I think it was like something garden. A lot of weird geometric shit. Well, this gets weirder as it goes on. I mean, I'm not surprised. It's literally called Psychonauts. 
Well, the big thing is is that uh, at the moment we are we have only entered like sane people's minds. Later on, we enter less sane people's minds. On the sane to insane spectrum, where's the Sundere? Uh, sane. She's definitely uh, sane. Okay. I thought you were going to make a joke there about uh, how insane Sundaries are. No. Fuck you. Uh, suck him on. Over there. Ah, oh, fuck, I missed me. I haven't got that one. That should be it for this level. Good. Well, you got them all. Now it changes. Another side of the cube. Yay! This level. Ooh, can radical. Yep. Let me just check something very quickly. Or once oh, this stops. You close one league down. Well, come on. No. No. Hmm. No. Because I know there is a second vault in here somewhere. But I don't know where it is exactly. I love collectible side quests. Yeah. Oh, that just does happen. Oh, my precious Psy Arrow. Ahead. Got rank 13 now, huh? Yep. One of those. Ah, uh, just health. There you go, Puss. Yeah, there is one more level in this. In fairness, it's a fairly manic level, so I can understand why I missed the... Uh, uh, but is it a manic pixie dream level? Oh, thank God. Or does that come later? I wouldn't call it a dream. Um, of a level, but it's certainly a level. Well, I was making a reference to the trope. Yeah. Uh, how do I get up? I don't think I can get up there at this point. Or even there. Yeah, I think I have to wait. Do I? Yeah, I probably have to wait to get all the way up there. Oh well. Hmm. So the way this goes. Now probably the most annoying level of this uh, particular mind, if I remember correctly. Which is mostly because of the enemies. Actually, no, it's not this one. Not this one, this am I. It's the next one. Is it? Ah, uh, oh, we'll see. Alright. 
check the other faces just to make sure I'm not missing anything on them. Yeah, you explode uselessly. Don't mind me. There it is! Come back here, you son of a bitch. There we go. Sasha, Sasha's second sight. So oh. in, the in the first one we learned he uh, he lost his mum at a, at a young age, leaving him and his dad alone, and his dad heartbroken. Yeah. And clearly his dad doesn't want to talk about her because it hurts too much. So instead, Sasha tries to read his dad's mind to find more, uh, more about out, find out more about her. Oh, nice! Oh, nice! That's sweet. Oh dear! Oh my! Yeah. <laughs> well, must be careful when reading parental minds. Yeah, and he ran away from home because of it. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. <laughs> Uh, poor Sasha. <laughs> one, two, three. Ah, I'll take the hit, health hit on that one. Got me a lot of arrowheads. Oh, our head. Oh, I can't wait for the for when I can afford the fucking magnet, which makes this the <laughs> collecting of like stuff like our heads, health, and ammo so much easier. Oh, that does sound useful. Because for now, I have to fucking chase it around. All right. Eat dust, you little shits. That. I think, oh, there, I think there might be. Ow. Well, if there is, I can't reach it right now. Tried to get me while really I had tried to get me while I had invincibility frames. Fuck you. <laughs> An utterly random thought occurred to me. Yeah. Do you have compulsory jury jury duty in the UK? Uh not that I know of. Huh. Like, in America, if you get called to jury duty, there is a good chance that you will have to sit on a jury. I mean, I certainly... I've been an adult now for... God. Uh, five, five years, years? Right? Five years, yeah. I've been an adult for eight years, and I've only been called for jury duty once, and I didn't actually have to serve on the jury, so... I mean, I've never, like... I'm fairly sure my mum's never been called for it, so I assume it doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. Here's a slightly more annoying level. But I will persevere because I need the mental fragments. Figments. Yes, I know, cobwebs. Fuck 
die. And staying alive. Fucking bitches. Sorry, I can't hit the high note at all. God, even back trying for Come back here. Come back here. There. I believe that's the last mental baggage of this level. Luckily, oh, those. Oh, mental baggage is pictured as actual baggage. Yeah. Luckily, these sensors are nice enough to wait for me. Wait for me to finish. Fucking die! Some of you still lived. Where is it? There. Okay. That's it. I completely blocked off all of Sasha's sensor outlets. I can't wait to tell him. Right, I've finished. Young yep. man, I hope you have learned a lesson here today. Yes, I have. That shooting things is fun and useful. No, <laughs> that once you lose control shooting of your things own is, mind, is fun and useful. To get it back. He yes. sounds like an American. One hundred percent controlled at all times. Well, I say, no. speaking Actually, from my experience as an American, completely hmm. suppress your undesirable feelings. They'll build and build and eventually explode. I'm sure oh. Gen would agree with me. So, mm -hmm. uh, what would happen if you were to say completely block off all your sensor outlets? Well, there would be a buildup of sensor energy within that would. Uh, I don't know if they spelled sensor right here. Because there are two very different kinds of sensors. They both spell very differently. Just the way he says uh, very softly run, Rasputin. Very fast. Run. Oh shit. He got fucking squashed. Ah, oh, good old Merit Badge. Yeah. Were you ever in Boy Scouts, Mill? Nope. I was mostly too busy playing rugby, frankly. I mean, that's fair. See, I was in sports all throughout, uh, basically for my entire pre-adult life. Like, ever since I started, like, first grade, yeah, all the way up until the end of high school, I was in sports. Mm -hmm. I was still in Boy Scouts, too. Both me and my brother both in sports all the way through uh, the end of high school. I didn't continue in college, but I think my brother did. Yeah. Now, I played rugby for ooh, 10 years, I think. Mm, maybe 11, something like that. I did baseball for eight years, basketball for three, and uh, wrestling for four. I stopped both baseball and basketball after middle school. Because they required tryouts for uh, high school. Hmm. Excellent. You've shut down the valve so he cannot be rejuvenated. Now destroy him. I will destroy you. Have you gotten tired from hearing that from Biotics? Uh, no. Barely heard it, oh, if I must... remember correctly. Oh, you must have been just good at killing them then. Yeah. What were we supposed to do? Ow. Uh, you are supposed to kill them quickly, because otherwise, uh, they keep saying I will destroy you and also fucking you up. Use your uh. mental focus no, we kill things help quite quickly. You accurately and also good. Help you with your evasive that is the correct approach to take. Hooray, we killed the giant sensor. It was throwing boils at us. So, is this where I get a speech and learn? Are those things related to each other again? No. Here's your merit badge. Let us never speak of this again. <laughs> oh, I love Sasha. So, yeah, I can officially now shoot things. Hooray. Shoot 
more things. Okay, okay, enough about my mind. Let's stay out of my mind for a while. Let's just go back into yours, huh? Step up to the brain tumbler when you're ready. Okay, time to face my big diving helmet spitting personal demons. That's the spirit. So, I want to try and get to the end of the first part of the game, first act, um, which would probably take is us longer a... than two hours. I shouldn't take us that is long, a... though. Is this a three act or five act structure? Uh, three act? Definitely not five act. Yeah. Makes sense. Well, like, there's, there's, there's. I wouldn't even say three act, there's just two different halves, I would say. Hey. Fuck you. Come on, give me the arrowhead. Thank god these things give our heads. I need them. Thankfully, the the giant monster is just waiting there for me. There you go, purse. Have your tag. After a while, you do wish you could skip those. Hmm. Go. Every video game has a level like that. Or a side quest like that. It's not even a level, it's just the animation, you know, you see it so many times. <laughs> that it's yep. like, okay, I get it, they're happy to be reunited. Can we just skip it please? Mm-hmm. Five. Five. Six. Quarter of the way to the uh to the magnet thing. So I see. See you fragment figment. That one in there? No. By the way, Mill, did you see that uh, one thing from the other day that I posted uh, about the five different ways to interpret a uh, piece of media? Yes, I did. Where would you say that this one falls? Uh, I like this you game. It's good and you recognize it as and you recognize it as good and you enjoy it? Yeah. Excellent. This is a fun game, looks like. I probably don't have a computer or console that can both uh, download this game and play it well, but uh, it's fun watching it. Done. Fuck you. You're grabbing me. Die! Stop sticking around so long after I do the ground pound. Very long ground pound. I use it all the fucking time in Mario games whenever it's available. Yeah. Such a useful ability. No, oh, go after it. No, oh, well, I lost it. Have I? Yeah, this is this is the main source of fragments you'll get because otherwise you have to go around camp searching for them, and they are like only one at a time, and it is tedious as fuck. That that sounds to me like ninety percent collection side quests. Oh wait, no, it's not the it's not the magnet I get first. It's the dowsing rod I get first, and that makes finding the arrowhead so much easier. Okay. Fuck off. Fuck off, you damn sensor. And I have enough for the uh, for the dowsing rod right now, so it's it's fine. Once we get out, I'll get the dowsing rod, get 200 arrowheads, and it'll be fine. Damn, we need 200 arrowheads for the magnet. Yeah. As I said, it's a lot easier with the dowsing rod, because the dowsing rod lets you find um, caches, which are like 30 to 100 arrowheads at a time. 
It just makes a really fucking noisy, annoying noise. So it's like that a uh, metal detector, basically. Yeah. By the way, out of curiosity. Yeah, burn you fuckers. Yeah. I don't know how much of a fandom this game has, but what would you say the most insane fandom you've ever even tacitly been a part of is? Uh, in terms of the actual game or the in terms of the actual fandom itself? Fandom. Like, not just game fandoms either. Like, TV, movie, book fandoms. I feel like My Hero comes pretty close. Yeah. Yeah, no. They get That's fucking high weird. Up. I mean, I don't think anything will ever match the insanity of the Supernatural fandom, but... Pure Akka is up there. I I'd just... say the Supernatural fandom having never actually been, like, a direct participant, but having... ...absorbed enough of its insanity through osmosis. Yeah. I'm it gonna... seems like every other week some new crazy shit is happening, yeah. even though the show ended almost a year ago. Yeah, I'm gonna beat this meat. Oh, beat that meat super hard, man. <laughs> beat it hard. <laughs> Oh, thank God for these arrowheads. Little boy, I am sorry to say that you have a very serious mental problem. The trouble originates in this area, here. The area that we in the medical profession like to refer to as... The memory. fuck is that sign? Season, it's just no good. I hate to be so blunt, but you have the insanity. It looks like that one Not a manatee. dude from... People are always saying that. What do you think's wrong with my brain, That doctor? dude looks like, kind of sure a little know. bit I'm like that one mad scientist from A Nightmare Before, Before Christmas. Mm. The tooth is bad. Kind of. Yeah. You I'm getting vague oh, similarities between the two. Yep. Mad brain's got to come out, boy. It's the quickest way to cure what you... Ha, <laughs> <laughs> of the mind. Yeah. I feel like that's called no, pot calling still, kettle black. This will only hurt until your brain yep. will fly out. No! Don't worry, Dogen. I'm coming up there to save you. What is wrong, Rasputin? Once I've collected no all these, claim, uh, Sasha. I gotta claim the spooky thorn this, tower. You know, all this stuff. The funny thing is, like, 90% of video games. Like, you can just take your sweet-ass time doing side quests and collection shit yeah. without having to worry about the progress of the main mission, even. It's like, oh yeah, no, this is super urgent and shit. I think one of the few, like, um, exceptions to that rule is Dragon Age Origins. In what way? Because if you keep traveling around, the blight spreads further and further. I'm not sure if there's ever right. like a fail fail state where if you've traveled for too long, like it's game over. But like certainly, the the longer you take to do it, like the uh, the more the blight spreads across um, for Elden. There are some uh, aversions in the Mass Effect games too. Like some missions are time sensitive. We were quite uh, glad I... that Bring Down the Sky was not that time sensitive. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, no, but like, in bolt. games 2 and 3, there is some time sensitive shit. So, the world shall taste my eggs. Oh my. Fuck. What is that? Okay, what the hell was that? That's see. trippy as hell. You know, uh, Aspect 2 and 3, there are some uh, time sensitive things. Uh, I'll tell you once you get to those games what you should be aware of. But for right now, you don't really need to worry about it. Because there's nothing super time sensitive in Aspect 1. Uh, we also did uh, Major Kyle in the last stream. Oh, Major Kyle's a fun one. So, not only did we, you know, arrest that cult leader, we also, uh, 
looted the place to the bedrock. Nice. Playing like the true club, the like clips the mini but Shepard always was and always will be. Ugh, yeah. There's no way to get any higher. You must use your levitation power. Ooh. I don't know how to levitate. I had no idea you were at such a remedial level. Hey. Lucky for you, we have one of the world's foremost levitators on staff. Agent Mia Vodello, the mental minx. Precisely. You'll need this oarsman's badge to reach her at the docks. I'll try to determine where this interference is coming from. Return when you've earned your levitation merit badge. Will do. But first, I've leveled up. Or I've uh, ranked up to level 20. So... Time to go to the sanctuary. Yeah. Then we'll go to the main lodge, get the dowsing rod, hopefully get 200 uh, our heads fairly quickly, and get the uh, magnet. I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for telekinesis. Oh, you this know is, you. This is a fun one. <laughs> you know you've consumed a piece of media too much if. Uh... If certain words start to traumatize you, mm. I won't say which words because spoilers. With telekinesis, we can use our minds to grasp an object and then throw it. Go ahead, try it yourself. Very nice. Now, second, again, what the fuck? Pick up something that won't blow up your head if you make it mad. <laughs> I like hearing his comments about it. Yes. Throw. So, yeah. you have chosen de you death. The hoop. Mm. You sound like my dad. Hey, I've been thinking about that. Why'd that guy hit psychics so much? I need much? to watch the, uh, to him? the Lord well, of the Rings movies again. I haven't for a while. I, ha I actually had the same thought earlier today. <laughs> yeah. Talk about baggage. Maybe we should do a watch party. And the weird thing is... I'm pretty sure he's Maybe. A psychic I believe I have the DVDs, but unfortunately my computer does not well, allow me to play DVDs or Blu-rays. No, neither does mine. <laughs> I hate that they uh, phase that out of laptops. Don't be shy. Oh, well, my laptop shy. could. Let's my laptop could play again. the DVDs. The needle, as they uh, say. Bingo. Okay. But not the Blu-rays. Despite the fact that I'm fairly sure when I ordered the fucking laptop, I tried to make sure that there was a Blu-ray player yeah. on it. Let me show pick that trash. But it apparently oh, just. Be careful now. Very nice. Now set. Oh, be careful oh. now. Why did I give him that dang lotus permit? <laughs> Kablooey! Throwing something against a wall is a little more. Oh no! Another one. Now how'd that? Looks like we're in luck. Why don't you smash him on the head with that handy trash can? Come on! Use tele. Yeah, I know what I'm doing, Ford. I've played this game before. Use telekinesis to. Balls up. Looks like the trash took him out. <laughs> Next lesson, we'll work on your snappy one-liners. <laughs> But yeah, my uh, my computer doesn't have a uh, what should we call it? Um, like you, disk drive at all. So uh, main launch. Which is a little inconvenient. What's more inconvenient is the fact that I'm not sure of the place I'm going. Uh, I'm going to be living in September. Uh, we'll have an Ethernet port. And uh, my oh, computer boy. does not connect wirelessly to the internet, so I'm probably gonna have to buy like a USB thing or something. That's fun. Anything new in the store? Oh, you can burn that bridge when you get to it. Ooh, that's my yeah. Now with that, ah, now here, now that Now get ready for the most annoying what noise in the I game. That's it for now. All right, go get more. This. See, I still can't hear shit from the game because of Discord. Well. So lucky me. Yeah. There we go. See, already up to 129. From that one cache. <laughs> cache? Cache? Excuse me. Cache. No, it depends. Is there an accent on there? Otherwise, if there isn't, it's cache.
cash, money. Cash, 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 money. God, I love Gravity Falls. There we go. That one wasn't as good. I think I was like 21. Hmm. I'm not picking up anything. Must not be any. Yes, but you stood on a fucking on a single arrowhead. Please get that off. Oh, fine. I mean, I know it's not related, but standing on an actual arrowhead sounds like a legitimately impressive feat. Hmm. And a very painful feat. Yes. Really? No more fucking arrowheads? Jesus Christ. Okay. On the subject of standing on things, um, my, or one of my housemates uh, during my second year at university uh, tried to uh, use a D4 as a caltrop for me in the entrance to his room. Because I kept waking up, waking him up to go get pizza together. Um, I completely, I didn't step on it at all. Uh, he then lost it, forgot about it, and stepped on it himself. Wow. Where the fuck is it? Okay, the noise is less annoying in uh, the PC port, but it's also a lot harder to actually figure stuff out in this in this version. Like, where the actual arrowheads are. There we go. God damn it, 170. It's not helpful. Hmm. I'm not picking up anything. Must not be any deep arrowheads nearby. Is that it? It's become that much more exacting on where it wants you to fucking stand. It makes it so much harder to fucking do. Somebody say stands? God fucking damn it. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Over here? Oh. You can only press the fucking triangle button so hard and for so long before it, my thumb gets tired. Yep. Jump over the fence, Rasputin. Don't be late. Yeah, I still need to make that tier list of uh, shonen manga. I'll probably do a full video at some point in the near in the future. Yeah. Just me going through Tear Maker, making up, uh, showing where I put all of it. Some people would be very upset with my choices. Well, some of my choices, anyways. God damn it, ten off. That is annoying. Hmm. I am sure. People would be very annoyed at uh, mine as well. Yes. I mean, I I kind of want to do it when I have a alert, if I have like enough of an audience to actually get banter with chat. You know? Yeah. Because those kind of videos aren't really fun without having chat to banter with. The tree? Where is it? Getting warmer, I guess. Yes, I am. Haha. -ha. Two hundred. Twenty. Got twenty in a row. That's nice. Yeah, go away, dousing rod. Don't need you anymore. By the way, um, I know you don't really watch the 
the podcast, the the Trash Taste podcast or anything, but mm-hmm. they've been doing this fun, fun thing every now and again where the the hosts uh, make a three by three of a different medium, which uh, seems like could be a fun idea for a stream or two at some point. Mm. So, like, what does it entail? Like three by three. So, like, for example, if you did a three by three of movies, you'd pick uh, nine movies total that are that are some combination of your favorites oh, no. and or taste defining movies. It's four hundred, not two hundred. Son of a bitch. Ouch. I'm not. I'm not moving on without it. I cannot stand having to go and chase this shit. So that's fair. Yeah, three by threes are uh, an interesting uh, idea. And- Theory, you know? Yeah. Oh, 30 in one go, that's good. Yeah, I know uh, each of us would definitely have controversial picks in some fields. Hmm. I wonder what Fuzzy's 3x3s would look like. I haven't really delved into Fuzzy's taste too much beyond, like, uh, his distaste for a lot of things. Mm. Though we do know that he likes some things that we very much enjoy. Yeah. Fuzzy is a strange being, though, <laughs> sometimes. I mean, he's a duck with a knife. True. God damn it, please. Do you want to hear something that James, well, you know, my new boyfriend James, something funny he said? No. Come on. By the way, have have you watched any of today's anime? Uh, I watched Eater 10. I was partway through, uh, whatchamacallit, um, Aquatope. Ah. Uh, Aquatope is really good this week. I mean, generally always is. Uh, Eater 10 may be on its second strike, depending on how it deals with the rest of uh, that particular story. Oh, the one with the, the bit with the nun? Yeah. Yeah, like, I could see it going one of two ways, depending on which bit of foreshadowing they decide to go with. Mm-hmm. Or they decide to go with Miku or Brandy. I hope they go the Brandy route. Hmm. Because that has a lot of interesting potential with uh, what she suggests that suggested last words. 400 exactly. There you go. There you go. Yeah, the series overall has some interesting concepts that it explores, but... Uh, it treads several lines. There we go. Got a buffer now. Mm-hmm. Thank God. Yeah, I'm already trying to decide what I'm going to be picking for uh, this season's uh, best of uh, awards, awards contenders. Yeah. I, mean, I think like, there's some I, very I, clear front runners. Yeah, I think we know what I think we know what's winning best OP. Oh yeah, <laughs> no, both we, we both agree on that front. Yeah, oh, <laughs> it's the God. other categories that are going to be a bit trickier. Like best ED, I have a uh, oh the o- runner up for best OP is going to be hard because there are a few that I think. Uh, uh, yeah, no, there are some really good ones, though I think. Just on instinct, my- I'll probably go for Kage- Kageki Shoujo. Kageki Shoujo is one of my three contenders for runner-up, along with um, uh, Vanitas and Tsukimichi. Mm. So if you go with Kageki Shoujo, I'm going to go with one of the other two. That way we get some more representation, you know? Yeah. Uh, if that's the case, then it's between uh, Tsukimichi and uh, Vanitas. Vanitas has a good OP, but... I- I think the song isn't Oops. quite as good as the visuals on that one. Mm. You know? Yeah. Dogen, are you okay? Why the fuck was I he in the lake? I have the strangest machine-induced dream about you. TV? Well, first of all, 
Sasha Nine invited me down to his secret lab and TV. That does nothing to explain how you walked out of the lake or why you were there in the first place. He's oh my god. Brainless. <laughs> the dream was true. I explain so much. Dogen, mm -hmm. don't worry. I know where your brains are. They're in like this crazy dream thorn bush straight jacket tower place. Aggy sack. You go to the TV lounge. I'm on the case. I just need a little more advanced training to prepare. Yeah, the uh, the idea is that uh, brainless people are obsessed with TV and hacky sack, which is true. It is. I hate that it's true, but it is. Mm. Check it out, Admiral. I'm an oarsman, first class. How close are we to the end of that one, by the way? Weeks in the canoe uh... really paid off. <laughs> Uh, one more, yes, sir, Admiral, one more sir. level, and then w well, one little go through of the uh, of the brain tumbler and a boss battle in there. So not her, that sir. long. That lake isn't as okay. Well, oh. as harmless as she looked. <laughs> Just gonna run the restroom real quick before we get there. Then I'll be right back. Let me off, I want to get off. Do I need to go talk to Elton? Because this spawns quite a funny thing. I'm trying to talk to- Hey Elton, have you heard anything else about that thing in the lake? Yeah, have you Elton? Uh -huh. Oh, not really. The fish are kind of going crazy about Bobby and Benny over there torturing anything that swims too close. Oh, somebody should do something. Yeah. Well, I suppose I could go talk to them. Because that's going to go well, Raz. You talking to the people who hate you. But hey, let's go do it anyway. Also, message board. Has anyone seen Dogen Bull? Didn't show up for band practice, and I'm a little worried about Phoebe. Levitation. That's nice. Asked. Notice, I have retained the services of Mikhail Bulgakov as my personal bodyguard. Anyone wishing to do harm to my person is requested to speak to Mikhail first, so he can pummel you into the ground. Sincerely, Maloof. Hey, if anyone sees Vernon waiting for me down by Makeout Cave, could you make out with him yourself? Because I'm not interested. Frankie. Ah, I'm back. Yeah, we need to go talk to uh, Bobby and Benny about uh, torturing fish. What's that round that thing fun. up on the dock? That thing? Oh man, let me tell you. Mm. That thing. Oh my God! Is... Of course, you use a like, dumb yeah, fish boy line. Mm -hmm. Business. What are the chances that if I ask nicely, you two will stop messing with those poor fish? About as good as the chance that if you say one more freaking word to me about fish, the fire department's gonna have the jaws of life, my fist, out of your mouth. So wait. That's not how it works. Does that at all? You will? Mm. I will punch you. That's what that means. I am the hideous hulking lungfish of Lake Oblongata. I can breathe air and love to eat the brains of little boys. Brains, brains, I will fly. Well, I have to go all the way around anyway to uh, go get my canoe, so. Ah, fuck. Yeah, that's what Does happens. Just not... That's what happens if you go in the water. A giant hand swipes you. Well. Yeah, like the weird thing about this season of anime, past, this current season Thanks. of anime, is that like You're pretty rad too. there are very few categories where there's a, several strong contenders for something. Mm. There's either no good contenders or like one clear winner and uh, a handful of potential runners up. Yeah. Oh, time to go uh, take levitation training. Levitation sounds fun. Get it, Does get levitation it. have like some sort of time limit shit? There she is. Uh, well, it's about running around on a ball. Don't so. worry, I got in contact with your father, and he's going to be. Oh, so like a uh, Ang Skyscraper. Yeah. Father. 
Oh, gotta go. The race is starting. Lily. Oh, hey, Raz. Listen, I made you something. It's kind of stupid, but... They stole Dogen's brains. No, he's just like that. <laughs> I had a nightmare where this mad scientist guy said he was going to take them out. And was it a creepy-looking freak with a shower cap and a stainless steel three-pronged claw? Hey, that's my nightmare. So it's not just me. But how? And why all the meat? I don't know. But I think it's time I find out where this is coming from. Let's rendezvous tonight at the old boathouse for debriefing. This is so cool. Yeah, it feels like that time in True Psychic Tales 314 where... Shut up! <laughs> Aw, she's a nerd too. But also very much better at controlling the boat than I am. Agent Bodello, I have been ordered to report here for levitation training. I've already done the coach's obstacle course, and Sasha showed me how to shoot. You know, I'd expect that sort of recklessness from Morceau, but Sasha? Agent Nine said you were the most powerful levitator the Psychonauts had. Sasha said that? Really? I didn't know you noticed. Well, you know, I only work with the best teachers. Flirt! <laughs> okay, let's party. <laughs> that was remarkably easy. <laughs> Battery will get you everywhere. Yeah. Into another mind I go. Look who made the scene. Agent Vodello? Where are you? On TV, of course. Where I was always meant to be. I mean, look at my hair, darling. How can hair this fabulous not be on TV? Now, darling, the best way to learn levitation is to just try it. I'm going to give you a levitation learner's permit. It will only work while you're in my mind. After you finish my course, I'll give you the real thing, baby. First, you gotta show me you know how to use it. Okay, I'm not gonna bother trying to collect or like go out of my way to collect figments in this one because uh, the color scheme makes it so fucking hard to figure out where they are. There you go. You can get that magnet, right? It doesn't work on the figments. It only works on the health, the uh, ammo, and the arrowheads. Ooh, okay. Are you fucking ammo in this game? Yeah, for the side blasts. Oh, that's fucking dumb. Yeah, see? Came straight to, to me. Nice. Oh, so useful. No. Fuck. Man down. Man down! I got it wrong. I wasn't going fast enough. Yes, just made it. Nailed it. Outside! Okay, now come find me on the other side of the nef. No, grab the badge. Does everyone in this game have just so weird. Is it everyone in this game who has weird proportions or just most of them? Uh, no, they all have weird proportions. What the fuck does it. No, uh, whatever. Like, the only character who has seemingly somewhat normal proportions is Sasha. Yeah, but he saw his his uh, mother naked in his father's mind, so... Yeah, that's definitely fucked. Stay on the ball in here, Rasputin, if you want to get higher. And see if you can get all Yeah, no, like, the majority of the cast DJ. definitely does not have normal proportions. Yeah. All the kids have giant-ass heads. Yeah. Well, not all the kids, most of the kids. Fuck's sake. There we go. Got them all. You are the sugar in my bowl, darling. Now just follow the flowers, won't you? And try to stay rolling at all times. That is the theme of this party. See that one? Oh, stop there. Because the first time I all... When I did this on my uh, playthrough on the PS4, I took so long, so very, very long, getting all the figments in this place. 
I mean, I imagine the disco uh, lighting does not help collect no, those things. No, it really, really doesn't. <laughs> It really, now, really doesn't. I'm not doesn't. saying that you will fall, but if you ever did, I'll put a ball return down here for you. Just that is quite helpful. Darling, float over here, will you? Remember to use your side float. I'm not saying it won't ever let you down. Because hey, the plat really platforming with nice the ball is also very hard, as you saw there. <laughs> Oh, you can skip that. Oh, thank God. Hey, wanna dance? Thanks, but no thanks, Raz. Hey, wanna dance? Um, no thanks, Raz. Hey, For some dance? reason, I'm randomly coming back to that one time. Uh, Red of OSP did the uh, did a live reading of uh, fucking My Immortal. See, I've never read that because I only read good fan fiction. I mean, you can just listen to Red Live read it. It's funny Thank as hell. You, I don't so particularly want now. to ever experience it. I feel like my life is much better without it. That's fair, but at the same time, on, the memes. Let's take it a little higher now. Ooh, look at the crowd! They see that draft up above, darling? Yeah, Jump but I'm gonna go here and float instead. And see where it takes you. Now, why would you want to come in here? Come on, this room's no fun. Let's leave, baby. I want to see your secrets, Mia, Mia uh, Vardello. Mia's children. I'm sure this will be uh, be very happy. See, oh, look, Mia's working in an orphanage. Oh, how sweet! Spooning out food, playing music for them. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, fuck. Yeah. Now you definitely don't want to go in there. That's a party killer right there. What are you doing down here? The party is upstairs. Lucky for you, I have my nightmares under control. You can make it to my world of pain, trust me. Now quick, let's get back to the You can't hear this, but they're saying you let us die. You've come to the wrong place. Oh god. Ow, it's hot, it's burning. Now, word of God says that that's actually how a healthy person's mind should work. What? Like, not in the sense of actually having that stuff, but, like, in not letting it control, control them. And having it, like, having it under control, basically. Up the ladder we go. Wish we could have levitated up here, but no. Levitation is not actually levitation, it's just quicker movement. Yeah, no. A lot of the stuff in this game seems like uh, in name only. Yeah. No pyrokinesis, though. Shit, I didn't actually want to do that. It's like a Mario Kart level. Yeah. Wanted to at least get the fragments and stuff that I know about. Did I fucking miss the fragment there again? There we go. There we go. Come on. Boy, boy, and land. Get a little ball return, which is quite nice. I'll wait for this to go up. This is slightly annoying, mostly because it does that. There we go. And there we go. Good. Now to run around and collect these. I feel like the PS the PS4 port was you moved quicker, but oh well. Because, yeah, because this is, this is the PC port, and it got released, I think, recently, maybe? Um, certainly more recently than uh, Nefo got, like, a graphics upgrade and everything. Um, hmm. And some, you know, 
standard of life changes, whereas uh, the PS4 port literally is just a port of the PS2 game. Graphics mm. and all. And, you know, terrible, uh, <laughs> terrible platforming stuff and all. In fact, when... Uh, I don't like... Yes, got it. When Lanny played it uh, on stream, he actually hit a... Not a game-breaking bug, but a uh, very annoying bug where the uh, cobweb duster that costs 800 arrowheads disappeared from his inventory and he had to buy it again. Because you absolutely need it to progress the story at some points. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's just a bug they've never been able to fix for some reason. Fucking vault go. There it is. This one is a happy vault. It's uh, Sasha and Mia just having adventures. Look at them. I think they're stealing the president's brain or retrieving nice. it. And yes, she is into oh him. Oh my. She is very much into him. I mean, I kind of get it. One. Okay. Now I go back and forth to pick up some speed. Let me climb up here. Is it weird that I have that one Voltaire song from Billy and Maddie stuck in my head? No. The one about brains? Not at all. When you are levitating, you are also it, see, it feels apt for this. Things, but some things, like those spikes, those are always bad news. Whether you are levitating so, hey. or not, so watch out. Can go over these. No problem at all, God. That shouldn't be happening, darling. Do you have some problems with water? Do you want to talk about it? Uh, it's a long story. Maybe later. Okay, I'm always here for you, darling. Let me just say that it's very normal for boys your age. Damn it. I landed on the water, which meant I landed on the fire. Grab the pole! Grab the fucking pole. There we go. Okay, this is the annoying bit of the level. Yes, respawn. There it is. Okay. Got that. Got that. Got that. Get up here. Yes. First time. I need to go here. And tag this purse. Please make it. Please make it. Not gonna risk it. No, fuck you. <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore you, Sansa. Okay. Okay, it's time to ready, get set, go, baby, go! Time for a race. Against stupid Bobby Zilch and his stupid face. Bobby Zilch is such a stereotypical bully name. Yeah. Now, see, this is the really, really fucking hard one to get fragments on. They're not all they in your path. They blend in. Yeah, they That's blend in, and they're not all in your path. So you will 100% miss some if you're actually just going for the race. Well, also, this is a lot harder to control than the uh, PS4 version was. I'm not surprised. Games that have, like, um... 
a PC version that allows a controller ad adaptation. Mm. Originally, uh, the controller stuff do doesn't jive too well. Yeah. Well, put it this way, I'm frankly surprised that um, I'm even allowed to use my PS4 controller. Mm. Considering this is, you know, using the Microsoft uh, thing. Microsoft is soft in the head. Ha ha ha. Fun joke. Hmm. Was that the fucking high heel? Yes. I'm in front of Bobby Zilch, and that means I should win this race. Ha! Fuck you, Zilch. Uh. You did it! You're quick like greasy lightning. I'm so proud of you, darling. You're ha, so fuck you, Bobby Zilch. You'll be at my party in no time, eh? Eat fucking shit, you dumb bastard. Okay, if you wanna get up to where the yeah, thing goes, you're going to have to do a lot of floating in this room, baby. Good thing you're so light on your feet. Yeah, I understand the mechanic. Wait, wait, is this game available on Steam or is it just uh um... Yes it is available on Steam. In fact I was okay. very close to buying it on Steam. Um before realizing but that, Game Pass had it free. Yeah, the Game Pass had it free. I mean, it's only like six, seven quid, so probably about ten bucks uh, on Steam. So it wouldn't have been that much of an Im that much to uh, buy it. Mm. Obviously, it is a lot areas, easier. Uh, no, nope, I went the wrong way. I need to go over here. Obviously, it's a lot easier just to just to get it for free as part of Game Pass. Download mm -hmm. it there. No! I mean, Why did you go backwards, you dumb? You dingus. I mean, as a former college student, I am never one to pass up free stuff. Oh no, absolutely not. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That's like the golden rule of college. Never pass up free stuff. Should we just be the golden rule of life, really? Not wrong. Free stuff get, is nice. If you can get something for free that you would usually pay for, uh, get it for free. Yeah, no, no. Especially if it's a free trial for something you're not sure about. Mm-hmm. Then you don't have to pay money to see if you'd actually want to pay money for it. Going to have to use your sight no, no, go on. No, oh fuck, missed it. Did I? Ha, got it. Now I gotta get over to. Doesn't help that some of them fucking float around like that. Making it very hard to get to them. Fucking no, 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 no. Damn it, now the surf music from Pokemon is stuck in my head. If you float in some areas, you might get a little more oomph than usual. I'm aware of the mechanic, Mia, thank you. Even if I, ha I'm... Even if I hadn't played this game before, I have been doing it for most of this level. I'm trying to figure out what exactly her accent is. Um, I know it feels like some sort of Hispanic accent, but I can't hear enough of it to know for sure. Well, her full name is like Camille Vordello. Oh yeah, that's a super Hispanic name. Yeah. So, some flavor of Hispanic. <laughs> Oh, she, uh... Well, I haven't heard how she pronounces S sound, so that uh, doesn't narrow it down. There you go. I believe that's all the mental baggage for this level. There are apparently... Uh, how many more... 25 more figments in this level. In 
this bit of the level anyway. Time to see how much of it, how much of them I can get. I didn't go well. You know what's nice? What? Sixty nine. Uh, one day that'll stop being funny. But it's not today. <laughs> no! Oh, damn it. It's the most annoying one to get to is the first one. Please. No! <laughs> Please, please. Oh, thank you, God. The issue is you have to get a run-up to get the full leap, and there are people in the fucking way having fun. Okay, it's easier now because it's going downhill. No, at the last hurdle. Oh, fucking hell. Well, at least I got that one. Okay, maybe it'll be easy from here because we can get a running leap. Good. Boss. It's Rasputin, the rolling rock star, in the flesh! And just in time, the party was okay, dying so Frank without still in you, London. darling. Mm. Here, I have a little party favor for you. I mean, if you looked her up on the, like, Psychonauts wiki, it might tell you, but... Actually, no, it probably wouldn't. They've made... They've, like, tried their best to make it so that, uh, no country is specified, I think. Something like that. That's fun. And also kind of fair. It's like for um, Oleander's memory where it had the fucking flag. I think they like made sure to make it so that it wasn't any specific um, specific country's flag. Yeah, because they had the picture in black and white, so it was hard to tell beyond it being a free striped flag. Which is so many fucking countries. Yeah. I'm afraid he's just like that. That's like, two... a third of Europe. Yeah, but also that's two people who've just said that uh, Brainless Dogen is just how he is. I mean, maybe he that is how he is, honestly. Would not surprise me, given that what we know about Dogen. Mm -hmm. I mean, Dogen's a good boy. I try and help him out whenever I can. Go on, go uphill. However, I now should be able to... Yep. Oh, that was a bad move. Up over there. Get those. Get two, three chances of that, otherwise I would have died, because I'm an idiot. And then leap over and grab that one. Can't grab that one because it can't go over the ropes and Bobby Zilch just pushes you if you try to get past him the normal way. So instead I will head back to Sasha. And the brain tumbler. Where would you Okay, I'm a certified levitator now. Ready to roll. Hmm, I've been running some tests. It seems that the sensitive circuitry of the brain tumbler is picking up too much psychic interference to be safe. 
the thoughts of some other entity are interlacing with yours at a dangerous level. I wonder who it could be. of the strange things you've seen. I must call off the experiments until we know more. Sasha, there's no time. I think my vision about Dogen came true. I'm worried it's going to happen to the others if we don't get to the bottom of this quick. But we don't know where the foreign projections are coming from yet. Is there a faster way to find out than sending me in there to investigate? Oh damn, I was hoping it wouldn't send me in there straight away because I wanted to test some powers on uh, Sasha and get his lines. Thought I could just, you know, do that first. Yes. Ouch. <laughs> Impressive. Now release. And finally. No, wrong one. I'm sure you could find a more productive use for that skill, Rasputin. Are you sure? Because I quite like setting you on fire. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Now, do I dare? Yes, I do dare. Thankfully, the ball was too big to get through that gap, otherwise I would have fallen off. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. Look at that. You can now end up in the bathtub. Fuck you. No, just for that, I'm gonna kill you. There. I hope you're happy, you stupid plant. Actually, let's just check. 81 of 92 figments, so there's still 11 figments left in here. Somewhere. That's one. That was apparently the only one. Why are you screaming? All right, I remember. Uh. <laughs> oh, there goes the brain. Oh, good boy, there's that pesky brains, brain. Brains, brains, oh, oh, wow. Now. He, Don't you feel satisfied. better, my dear lad? God, that song is so fucking good. <laughs> of course! Right here! And this bad too. We'll just drop it in the old garbage chute. Now don't you solid foods for six hours! Lily! Dogen, no. TV, TV. Okay, just says that. Do you think Raz's head could actually fit through that hatch? Because I'm not sure. Certainly not the rest of that pipe. Oh, no. I wonder what's in here. Oh dear, the brain has been taken. It's got in that tank. And here's the first major boss battle. Dun, 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 dun. Go on. Where am you, stupid tank? Damn it. Go on. Get me again. Man, I am ah. so smart. Soft gelat in this underbelly? Here I come. Get the shit out of it. Oh well. Go on, shoot me. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. <laughs> Beat the 
the shit out of it. Beat the shit out of it. Beat the shit out of it. By the way, Mill, have you ever played like a roguelike? Uh, no. Mostly because I believe I'd be quite bad at them. Eh, I'd probably be bad at them too, honestly. I Go suck on. ass at Hades. Go on. My brother, re my brother really likes uh, Enter the Gungeon, mm. which is another roguelike. But I've never tried my hand at that one. Haha. <laughs> That might be quite bad for me if it locks on. Go on. Find me. Find me. There you go. Stupid tank rearing up like that. That was a loud explosion noise. Now the slightly more annoying no. part of the level. Come on, Millie, you know that cool guys don't look at explosions. Ah, confusion. Grenade. So dizzy. Who am I? God damn it, hit twice in a fucking row. Basically reverses the controls. Oh, that sounds like some fucking bullshit right there. Well, it's confusion grenade. Can't you just snipe him from afar? Nope. At least I don't think it can. Ow. Hey! Doesn't matter, because I fucking beat it first try. And yet I still apparently lost. Is this a nightmare? Or a plan. Now where have we seen this or before? Both. Wait a minute. Rasputin, I'm sorry. I had to abort the experiment. Something unbelievably urgent has come up and I must leave immediately. I know. You'll never believe Hold that thought. In a rush. Official psychonaut business. Wait! So is this! Thanks Official for... psychonaut, eh? You forgot your Well, mm. mine now. <laughs> Mine, 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 I know. It's from Oleander's mind. I think I was in the coach's dream that whole time. Ever since I stepped through the stack in the caravan, it felt funny. I knew I wasn't obsessed with meat. Yeah, that was the big indicator. And was stealing psychic brains to arm a fleet of deadly tanks, apparently. You know what's fun with a good story is being able to spot foreshadowing. Yeah. Down by the water? Uh-oh. Better hurry. Where would so let's go meet Lily, yes. and then we'll end. This, like this, a this is basically the end of Act 1. Is Act 2 longer than Act 1? Yes, because there are more mines to enter. We'll have to do Act 2 yeah. in at least two streams. Uh -oh. Look, Act 2 is I usually act longer than Act 1 mm -hmm. in most uh, stories i found. Oh no, Bobby lost his brain. Not that it makes much difference. Jeez, sounds like you got a bad cold. Maybe, but listen, I traced the psychic interference back to Coach Oleander's Ooh. radio. He's been broadcasting his insane plot all over camp in his sleep. So he's really kidnapping children and stealing their brains to make weapons. Yes, isn't that great? What? How is that great? Because this is an honest-to-goodness psychic emergency! And Sasha's not here. He left on some official psychonauts business. Mia left a note saying the same thing! Lily, a deranged man-man is building an army of psychic death tanks to take over the world. And there's no one who can stop him, except for you and me! Oh my god! Let's make out! <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just so excited! Since you oh hey, that, some pizza. Are so much more pizza, pizza. Sinister oh hey, a TV. Mad scientists, hideous monsters. Make out. <laughs> How long have I ignored what this can't? Is that a stopwatch? 
Everything's new to me now, thanks to you. I mean, look at this flower. You mean my kiss? <laughs> How many years have I been coming here, and I've never even noticed a cool flower like this before? Oh, dear. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, no. you didn't just hit my oh wow, she's already calling you her boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> and then she got gnomed by the monster. Yeah. Well, I guess you have to rescue her now. Yep. Shit. Let's get him. I can't. I can't swim. Well, then use the bathysphere at the end of the dock. Quick, while the flipper prints are still glowing. Are you coming? I don't know how to drive that thing. Uh, I can't. I have to um, uh, check on the other children. Yes, yes. If the brains are out, they'll need supervision. And possibly refrigeration. And how can you not know how to operate a bathysphere? Haven't you ever been to a summer camp before? Now get a move on before that girl gets overly digested. But that is where we are going to end. Save. Thank you all for uh, watching. Uh, I do enjoy this game, even if I'm A, terrible at platformers, and B, the platforming in this game has not aged amazingly, if we're honest. Uh, Honestly, any game from pre-2006 or seven is probably not going to age all that well. Yeah. Um... In terms of future streams, as we said earlier, we uh, on Saturday we'll be discussing Assassination Classroom. I'm going to binge it over the next couple of days because to A, remind myself, and B, because I love the series. Uh, it's going to be fun discussing the various twists and turns in that story. It is going to be very fun. Um, Sunday, we might be having D&D. Not 100% certain at this point. Um, if we're not, we'll be doing something uh, like some more side quests in Mass Effect or maybe even this. We'll see who is available and when. Uh, Tuesday will most definitely be Mass Effect and then next Thursday I believe will be the Shonen Escalation Problems podcast. That's going to be a fun one. Mm -hmm. But otherwise uh, as always thank you for watching. Uh, please follow us on Twitch and Twitter. Uh, and subscribe to us on YouTube where all the archives go up. But otherwise, have a good night. Later, y'all.